guys, it's B Things, and today we'll be renovating the Daisy Hobo house. It's a starter home that comes with The Sims 4. Right now, I'm just making a character called called Candace Bosch, and she's an artist. She likes food, outgoing, creative. So this is her everyday outfit: just some beige and boyfriend jeans. Second outfit, same thing. Third outfit is a cute jumper that comes with the basics game and the black version. And here's just like a simple like everyday going to the park. This is her formal outfit and it is her first formal outfit for work. So cute. Here's her working out outfit. Just I just have one because it's not that much choices here. She has two sleeping outfits. One is more like sexy. Um, this is her party outfit, yes. So one's more formal when you have like wine and cheese nights, the other one's more for party going to a club. And for a swimsuit, I just gave her three just because I couldn't decide. So now what we're going to do is move Candace Bosch to the Daisy Hobel house. And my plan is to get it unfurnished and furnish it with the 9,000 plus Simone. So this is the old Daisy Hole house before we renovated. It's basically outdated. I'm sticking to the base, uh, to the original structure of the house and then just, you know, renovating it. Starting off with the kitchen. Just putting in a refrigerator. My color scheme for this house is basically beige, blue, and white. I want to keep it simple and clean just because you don't have enough money. So putting a whole bunch of mismatched things might not look good with it. Onto the bathroom, just a simple sink, cheapest sink you can actually get. The shower though, I ha eventually I upgraded it just because the sim kept complaining that it was a lousy shower. Onto the living room slash, I guess, eating place because we're not putting a dining room just because there's not enough space. Later on, I'm gonna cut in between the walls just so I can put a counter and a stool. Picking the wall color, for some reason I had a hard time. I couldn't decide what blue. Some of them were too bright, some of them were too pale. At the end, I just made, I think, everything the same. I'm not quite sure. But you'll see. I wanted the kitchen a bit darker compared to everything. Maybe beige or like, I was looking for a blackish blue. But I think eventually I just picked that one. This one right here, which is basically brown. Right now I'm putting some lighting for the kitchen and stuff for the living room just because it's so empty. But don't worry, at the end, it's not gonna look like this. So just wait for it later. On to the exterior of the house, I wanna update the look. So I'm picking like a dark, slight, well, actually light brown just changing the window to these cheap ones even though they're cheap they look a lot better than the one that came originally with the house um, I'm trying to modernize it but at the end I realized it couldn't so just something more updated yeah for the doors I couldn't really decide which one I wanted to get just because they all basically all look the same um, at the end I, I think I just went for the plain one or the one with the windows, with multiple windows. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. I wanted to extend the house, but at the end I was like, no, never mind. Besides, it's just right for one sim anyway. In the future, I can always just make another video for you guys if you want to see an updated renovation when, I have, when my sim has enough money. So yeah. We're changing the fences for 
the porch and yeah that was the one I couldn't decide just because the one I wanted was too expensive. So I'm going to be putting lights outside the house. But at the end I'm going to change those just because they didn't match the look of the house. It was too modern and at the end I knew I wasn't going to go for a modern house, just an updated one. Changing the living room just because I wasn't appreciating the space so well, so now I am. I'm going to put these um, counters and then stools so that can be the place where they eat. Yeah, there. I don't know, I love this type of kitchens that connect to the living room. They're so cute. And yeah, we'll see videos later of The Sims eating there. Putting these lighting, I love these lights of The Sims 4. Oh my gosh, I want one for my kitchen. And yeah, I'm rearranging again. Putting a plant just because the porch looks so boring, but at the end I think I removed it just because it it looked out of place the plant. Um, so here I'm just trying to fix the rugs for some reason. I forgot that there's a code for this for you know move objects and stuff. I didn't put it in. Afterwards I did. So for the people who are bothered about the rug, don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. I realized that the whole house is very squared off, so I should have place some round maybe like an oval coffee table but I didn't have enough money and I just picked the cheapest one there but eventually I will put more curved stuff just because it's too squared off the house and yeah picking the flooring for the kitchen because I got I forgot about it and it's so plain um at the end I just picked some, something light again just because I want to brighten up the house because it's so dark when you first get it and yeah I hated the walls of the bathroom. I didn't know why I picked that, but the tiles I wanted were too expensive, so I didn't like any of the other tiles that were cheap. And I just picked, I think, a plain white one at the end of it all. Just putting a mirror in the bathroom and a mirror in the bedroom. The bedroom was so plain, so Good, thank god I placed a mirror here. Putting sheets, realizing I could move the couch and the rug. But I don't know why. For some reason, I couldn't figure it out still, even though I knew how. Don't worry, at the end, it's gonna be finished and I'll do it properly. <laughs> Scaling up the TV just because it's so tiny, you know, a little cheap. So. And I changed the table just because it looked awkward fact that the TV was bigger than the table. So I changed it, matched the console table near the front of the house. And just putting plants. More greenery in the house looks better, so. Above the refrigerator. And... There's nothing more to what I did towards the end. I basically just add clutter around the house and yeah, that's pretty much it. Later on, you'll see um, the finished product. I did change some parts maybe outside the house and I think the bathroom, but not a big change. So adding an easel just because I want my Sims to be painter, so. And light to the house. Here's if I struggle to find nice tile for the bathroom. Yeah, see, at the end I just picked white. <laughs> Almost finished with the house and just adding a bookshelf and I think that's it. So here's before and after. Not a big difference, but it I did update it. I did change lighting as you can see, but it's not even. Sorry about that. Uh, here's the side of the house. Sticking, it's basically the same thing. Here is basically the layout of the house. Um, 
I didn't change anything about it. I didn't change the layout, the structure. I just finished it. Um, I have broken speakers. Don't mind that. <laughs> Here's the outside night. And it's very bright. See, as you can tell, it's, it's what I was going for, like I said. Here's the house outside at nighttime. I did put a bench. Going inside the house, here is a, basically an overview of the living room slash eating place. Um, because you can see, I just picked the white and the blues and the beige, the beige flooring. Heading to the kitchen, it's very open. There's no door, just very open. I picked the brown the bench. It matches all together. I, I wanted it to complement each room just because I didn't put doors. Just for the bathroom and the bedroom though. For some reason, um, the window didn't work during my recording. Um, it became black, but this is the bedroom. It's very plain. I didn't think I had to put that much just because I wanted to save money. It's more of the entertainment area, which is the living room. Here's the bathroom. And I finally picked tiles I wanted to use, which is basically my color scheme of blue and white and wooden for the shower. And that's pretty much it for the house. Here's another overview. Comment down below if you think I should change anything, maybe a different color scheme, more wall division. Thank you for watching my first video on YouTube. Always wanted to make Sims videos and now I am. I'm B Thinks. I played one, Sims 1, 2, 3, and currently 4. I'll be making videos about speed builds, renovations, create a sim, and maybe let's plays if you guys want me to. I hope you had an amazing day. Once again, I'm B Thinks, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!